Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just wanted to film this short update, let you guys know uh, how the progress is coming, and uh, you guys can check it out. So I did bolt up the AC compressor, but I have to make these lines, and um, I did order the fittings for them. So for now, we're going to take this off and just run the regular serpentine belt with the regular tensioner. Um, also, you know, I got this whole bracket on there with the alternator uh, power steering pump and the pulley. Um, it is a brand new power steering pump. And uh, I was able to just use the Chevy um, pickup truck 1500 uh, pressure line. Looks like we just barely have enough clearance. I did have to bend it back a little bit, but it comes up, loops around and comes in right here. And it just barely misses the pulley. Um, this truck actually came with the power steering cooler, which I'm gonna wanna run. So this line's gonna come up go to the cooler and then from the cooler come back and go to the reservoir also um, you know I got our plugs wires uh, fuel lines all connected as well uh, throttle throttle cables on there I also started the exhaust. Show you. And this is what I ended up having to do to get this transmission mount to work. Uh, I had to put a plate on it, cut the original um, cross member, and uh, it just needed to be raised just a little bit. So I cut it stacked it and then welded it and then I was able to pull directly to the mount and that worked out really good so now I can get my uh my drive shaft figured out with the exhaust pipe right here ready to go v-band comes up it's gonna go right back there and then the other one it's gonna come up and go right back there. All right. And you can see the, the clearance that I have in here. I mean, it's not much, but it's there. So what's next is I'm going to go ahead and get um, the radiator support on here, start hooking up the radiator, the radiator lines, and um, start running, hooking up my cooler, put this trans uh, power steering cooler on there, see about getting the intake um, set up, also the heater core lines, go ahead and run those down the here so it's getting close uh, after I do that then I'm gonna get the wiring harness on and uh, route that as well <laughs> all right so we have a uh, that front rad support just loosely bolted on and uh, we want to start to throw the radiator in and start checking the fitment, seeing what we got to do to make it fit. And right now, we're also getting our transmission uh, filter kit and the two um, shift solenoids swapped out. Yeah, but. All right, let's see what we got going on.
All right. So big fitment issues. Um, bottoms out, sticks out about two inches. The cool thing is that if we cut the radiator support on the bottom, we should be able to sink it down. Um, the clearance that we need so that it'll at least be level up top and um, build some type of bracket for it or something. But that's why we needed to get it in so we can see what and how we're gonna make it work. Crazy thing is this hose got to go right there. It's not a bad fitment, but then this one is gonna come right here. So that's not bad either. Except it's gonna be two inches lower. So, and we have our um, uh, ABS sensors right here. So we're gonna have to relocate those. But we should make it work. So uh, we'll start some cutting and we'll see about getting that uh, radiator in. We're getting close. Got the radiator support in, radiator, plumbed the power steering lines, the uh, radiator's plumbed, transmission cooler is plumbed as well, bolted up, ran the, the line, and they both come on, come on over. Drive shaft sitting here, ready to go on. And here's our, our list that I have going on. Coolant hoses, I need to finish up, put the clamps on there, serpentine belt, oil dipstick, drive shaft fans, uh, do the wiring harness, bleed the brakes, heater hoses, exhaust, fire it up. I wanna fire it up as soon as I can. Uh, then fenders and bumper. We're gonna go ahead and start with the oil dipstick, move to the coolant hoses, uh, jump on the wiring harness. I'm gonna, at the same time I'm doing the coolant hoses, I'm gonna do the heater core hoses. After I do the wiring harness, then we're gonna do the serpentine belt. I'm gonna fill the whole, everything with fluid, uh, transmission fluid, coolant, power steering, uh, oil, and um, fire it up after the wiring harness is done. So hopefully we can do all those things today, be able to at least hear it, and um, you know, just be able to confirm that the engine is good and then that way we'll be able to finish buttoning it up, getting it back together, getting it on the road, and doing some burnouts. So stay tuned, uh, I will be, I'm not gonna film the whole thing, only again, because I'm running out of uh, memory space. So I'm just gonna be doing short little updates once I've kind of been crossing some things off the list. So again, stay, stay tuned, like, subscribe, hit that like button, um, you know you like it, I like it. If you like LS builds, then hit the like button. All right, thanks.